What's going on shrewdness? What's going on shrewd gang? In today's video, we're doing a nice little update on Tesla stock. We're gonna break this thing down technically. We're gonna bat an eye towards it in the long-term point of view, some short-term levels to look at as well, so we can understand where the hell a stock like Tesla could be going next. It's at a massive 2.2% day after a huge, huge death candle with the CPI report this morning. So there's a lot of levels to look at and a lot of opinions as to where this stock could go next. We're going to break this thing down, give you some levels to look for. So without any further ado, let's just go ahead and get right on into the video. So first and foremost, we broke this thing out into the long-term point of view. We're in the monthly candles right now, and we've broken under a couple levels that you really want to stay above. You can see that the range is near 500 as of right now, one to be hit. The difference is though, is the longer you stay above here in these ranges, nonetheless, if you see a lift off, the higher these moving averages will stretch just so a 500 support in the future, right? Might be a 600, might be a 700 support. So I want to put that towards your brain. Something like Tesla compared to all competitors uh, in the EV space, they are the defined player in the space. But compared to other names like Neo, Ford, and General Motors, they are way overvalued than their competitors. Not a bad thing, but usually when it's tied to a certain industry, if one's flying away from all other competitors, they typically tend to meet each other at some point in the future. We're at a huge pivotal level of support and that's around the areas of 640. We've bounced not once but twice, maybe even more than that in this setup and you're trying to get froggy, which brings me to the standpoint that in the long-term point of view, you probably wanna hit ranges near the high 700s to 800s before you see any sort of breakout trend. Now that we have that established, we need to understand what we're looking at in the short-term point of view so we can see if we can even break out from here from these levels. So we're just breaking things down now in Tesla's float on the daily candles. And we have a couple of levels, in fact, many levels to look at towards the upside. And we had around two to three levels towards the downside. We had our long-term support at around the 639 to 640 area twice. And that was these two hits down here. So you've established support in a very strong manner. Now with this being the case, we are obviously looking for upside potential ahead. We have a couple of levels uh, in the short term that you want to see in the real, real brick wall above you is right here on this first level. So this is around the areas of $800, right? The high 700s, the 800s. This is the brick wall you need to break over. And it might take a little bit of time before you get there. Maybe it'll take a catalyst. Maybe it'll take the stock market breaking out from these lows to bring Tesla with it. And you can see right here, right now, that today's turnaround is biblical. If I can go to your five minute candles, you gapped down like crazy this morning and you sliced to the upside and are still trying to go higher as we speak. So strength is definitely happening right now. And it's almost like there's a magnet above you trying to get Tesla to snap back to reality. So. That reality to me is gonna be the $800 areas. The difference is though, is if you break over that, this is short-term retest. If you're swinging this bad boy, if you're in it for a minute to try to see higher prices than that, that brings us to the next brick wall level of 900. And I'm not going off of past supports or resistances. It does it itself because of these Fibonacci extension levels. Respected these areas many times, not only as support, but as resistance, resistance. And also you've gapped above the resistance as well in this area over here. So you could see this as like a roadblock on your way up, the areas of 900. Now, let's put a theoretical sense out there, right? Let's say you do hit this level, get a higher low, you re-break back above these areas. It's not just gonna fly up there, it could, right? But if that ends up happening, you will revisit the same breakout level of 800 as support. So it's gonna ping pong back and forth most likely throughout the channels of 800 to 900 if you break your brick wall. Now, let's say you're really starting to get froggy. Let's say recession fears are thrown out the door and let's just say that the stock market is starting to really pick up down here slicing and dicing through all resistances, taking Tesla with it. This brings me to a triple indication of a retest. And I mean triple being a past support, another past support and a Fibonacci retracement line also a resistance up here. So it's a quadruple indication. This is around the areas of $1,000 to 1,010. 
I really think from down here at these lowest prices, you could afford a little bit more red, but I think you're ping-ponging back and forth to set yourself up in the future for a breakout near $1,000. You've only had done this a couple of times, and with this catching itself down here at this low point, rather than slicing like the last three times to this major support, I really think that this is the higher lows that you're starting to get to show Tesla's hit support. And with support comes the lift off. So keep your eyes pit on these levels on the way back up. And if we can bring this into your short sale volume, right? This is just volume tied to short selling in Tesla's float. It's actually been picking up a lot as of lately, meaning that short sellers have actually been hitting Tesla up there at the high. You can see that this is the 11th of July. So around two days ago is when this data came out. And around two days ago being the 11th of July was at your short term peak up here. So short sellers are definitely winning in the short term. If they're getting out of their bearish positions, we will know in a snap of a finger when new data comes out for this tomorrow. We all know that Elon Musk is having some turmoil with Twitter. And we all know that there is a chance that he could be going to court in the near future to be forced to settle the deal. It doesn't matter how you look at it. It's a very opinionated topic. But what I am going to say right now is whatever happens will affect not only Elon, but the companies he owns and the stocks that are tied to those companies. So we saw what happened when the Twitter news came out a couple days ago, and it was Elon rejecting the deal. That killed Twitter. That made Tesla fly in the aftermarket. And also in the same sentence, it sent stocks like DWAC, sent stocks like Fun, P-H-U-N, higher with it. So realize these headlines, these opinions, the speculations, it will all make a difference as to where the stock could go next. They could come out in a few weeks or so and being like, Elon is forced to take the deal at 54. Elon liquidates a little bit of his stock, maybe, and that sends the prices of Tesla lower. There's always macroscopic indications that can play out. So as long as you understand the risk tied to these setups, you'll be able to play them with ease. This is never financial advice though. You guys got to do what you got to do with your money and your shares. I just wanted to put this video out there for some of you future Tesla holders and people that are in the stock right now wondering where the hell this thing could go next. You enjoy yourself though. If you can like, share, subscribe, hit that bell as well. It'll mean the world to me through this virtual screen. And just know that in an alternate universe, I would like your videos and I would share your videos and I would subscribe. I would do all that and you wouldn't even have to ask me. That's the major difference. So I'll catch y'all boys. Shrewd gang, stay safe out there as well so I can see you tomorrow. Peace out to... Shrewd gang.